So, um, tattoos are a sin. And um, I don't mean that if somebody has a bunch of tattoos before they get saved, that they're constantly living in sin and rebelling against God until, you know, they get all their tattoos removed or something. That's not what I mean. I mean the actual act of getting a tattoo would be a sin, according to the Bible. Okay? And it's a very clear scripture. And anybody, you know, who has questioned this or whatever, they know the scripture. And, you know, you either, you know, you're saved and you follow it and you're obeying God, or you're, you're lost, or you're backslidden, and you're rebellious, and you're in denial, and you're rejecting God's word. I mean, those are the only ways to look at it. The verse is Leviticus 19.28. This is the main verse. You know, we'll go to Leviticus 19.28. You shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Okay, that's very straightforward. No, nor print any marks upon you. Um, well, people will say, you know, what about verse 27? It says, You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Well, this was, you know, a specific way that these people were cutting their hair and their beards um, for pagan practices, you know, um, for their worship to their pagan gods or whatever. And if, you know, if there was any way that, that we, we were that we would do that today or whatever, I would still stay far away from that, you know. And I think that men should have short hair. Um, the Bible teaches that, too. And I made a video on that. But, you know, and I don't I don't try to get my hair cut a specific way or whatever. I just get it cut short, you know. Um, but, you know, it's talking about a specific way that they cut their hair for specifically for to, to honor their pagan gods or whatever. But anyways, verse 28 clearly says, uh, nor print any marks upon you, that you shall not do that. That is very clear. Any marks upon you. Tattoos definitely would count with that. <laughs> um, and I'll say that's in the Old Testament. That doesn't matter for today and stuff. And, you know, what about bestiality? You know, in Leviticus 18, 23, and 20, Leviticus 20, 15, and 16, and you know, it talks about bestiality specifically. We don't hear about that specifically in the New Testament, but of course that's still sin. We know that's wrong. Um, they don't try to say that about that, you know, that bestiality is just in the Old Testament or whatever, so so it's fine if we do it today. No, they won't use that argument for that. Or Leviticus 19.29 says not to prostitute your daughter. Or Leviticus 18.21 talks about child sacrifice. And, you know, these things aren't specifically mentioned really in the New Testament, so... They won't use the arguments for those things, but when it comes to this, you know, they just want to be in rebellion because people just want to do their worldly things and they want to, you know, boost their ego or whatever and they want to get tattoos. Um, you know, it says clearly any marks. We know um, 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20, the body is the temple. And 1 Corinthians 3, 16, 17, we're not to defile the temple. Um tattoo history, if you trace it back, it always goes to religious paganism. Um, I think that tattoos are idolatry because you're putting images uh, on yourself. You know, it's, you know, whether it's a person's name or, you know, whatever image it is, you know, it's like you're really, uh, it's like you love that so much that you're going to get that on your body forever. You know, that's, that's pure idolatry. And people think that they can get a cross or a picture of Jesus or whatever, when the Bible commands uh, any graven images, you know, of God. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you're, you're, you're sinning in that sense, and then you're sinning also because you're making a mark on your body. It's like um, a double thing there. Um, the scripture is just very clear on it. You know, I'm sick of these false professing Christians that they want to uh, cover up sin and they try to say that tattoos aren't sin, you know, and it's fine to listen to rock music, and you can watch wicked television and everything else. And I think that those of us who are truly saved, we know. It's really easy to tell, you know, just a couple, two or three questions. You can ask somebody, you know, if they believe in eternal security or whatever, they deny that, and then they deny that getting a tattoo is a sin, you know, and they just constantly, over and over again, they're denying scripture. You know, it's just, it's so easy to tell that they're false. Um... But it's, uh, it's very upsetting that it's prevalent. You know, if you look up on YouTube or on Google or whatever, should, is it okay for a Christian to get tattoo? And they'll say, you know, 
they'll say, yeah, most of the time, uh, it's sickening. That's not true Christianity. That's not the Bible. Um, and I, before I was saved, I was very much into death metal, rock and roll, and all that lifestyle. You know, I had mohawks, and, uh, I had a lot of piercings. I had my eyebrow, my nose, my lip, my tongue pierced, and my ears stretched. I mean, there's still holes there. Um, I believe that was that was definitely sin for me. I mean, piercings for a guy, I believe that they're sin too. We don't see any example in scripture f from a godly person having piercings, uh, as far as I know. But we, we see the Canaanites had their noses pierced or whatever. That they had piercings. You know, the heathens men had piercings. I think for women, I think it's okay for just, you know, a regular piercing in, in each ear or, you know, possibly the nose. It could be okay. Um, but if it's a bunch of piercings or if it's stretched like I have done, I believe that's definitely sin. I mean, there's a point where, you know, it crosses that line. And I think for guys, I think that any piercing is crossing that line. And, and tattoos are definitely... A sin. Um, it's definitely forbidden in scripture. Um, I never had any tattoos, but I was engaged to someone for a while who had a lot of tattoos. She had like sleeves, big tattoos all over. And you know, it was definitely like an obsession for her. And it wore on me for after a while because everywhere we go, people were asking her if they heard her and what they were like. And it was always, you know, conversations were always brought up about it. And Honestly, I kind of got sick of seeing them, but, uh, you know, and then she wanted more, and it would upset me, you know, when she wanted to get more, because she's, like, you know, covering, she's, like, messing up her body, and, uh, you know, there was a certain point where I had my piercings, and I took them out, and I just realized, you know, I don't, I don't want this anymore, you know, I wasn't even saved, but I still knew that it was stupid, all the piercings that I got, you know, I was like, okay, I'm past this point, and, you know, I don't need these, you know, I am who I am without them, and they don't make me who I am or anything, and, um, I eventually told my fiance, you know, uh, that I didn't like her tattoos, and didn't like her getting tattoos and stuff, and, uh, you know, there was one point where she got upset, and, uh, she started crying, and she actually said that she knew when she got her first tattoo that she was doing something wrong. And I think that that was honestly when the truth came out of her at one point. Um, unfortunately, since then, she's gotten more tattoos, and she's not saved, but, you know. Um, and I bring this up, too, because, I mean, this has kind of been a strong subject with me. You know, like I said, since I was engaged with someone who had tattoos, and I've seen the obsession and stuff. And I, I made a video on here about a friend in prison who I was kind of discouraged about. Uh, I've been writing him, and... He told me about how he got in trouble for tattooing somebody, and I wasn't even sure if I should write him back or what I should do, but I feel like the Lord wanted me to write him back, so I got a letter I'm going to send to him, and I'm basically I'm just going to rebuke him, and I'm going to tell him about this verse and tell him, you know, tattoos are a sin, and uh, you need to decide, you know, are you going to live for Christ or not? You know, are you going to obey God's word or what? Um, of course, we'll all still sin, we'll never be perfect, but we need to, to realize what sin is. We need to obey God's word. You know, the Bible says to abstain from uh, any appearance of evil. So we're supposed to stay as far away from sin as possible. I mean, if there are things that are even questionable, like the hair length or tattoos or whatever, why would you even cross that line? I mean, I would want to, I do want to, you know, stay as far away from sin as I can. If there's something that's questionable in here, you know, I want to make sure that I'm far away from that. Um, you can't get any more straightforward than, you know, nor print any marks upon you and think that it's okay to get tattoos. Um, I don't know, like I said, it's idolatry. It's just, it's sin. <laughs> it is what it is. It's sin. And, uh, I will take that stand. I'm sick of people saying that it's not sin. It's just blatant disobedience to God's word. So, if I keep talking, I'll probably just stop making sense after a while, but <laughs> tattoos are certainly sin. Leviticus 19, 28, I think that's all the evidence that's really needed. Uh, so, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.